show you how to set up port forwarding on a Linksys router. If you're running a server at home, you'll need to set up port forwarding no matter what brand of router you're using. So to begin with, open your favorite web browser, and in the web browser you'll enter the IP address of your router. In this case, because it's a Linksys router, I know the IP is 192.168.1.1. If you're prompted for your password, the default password and login is admin and admin. If you don't know what your default is, consult the manual either in print or online. If you've changed the password and you don't remember what it is, you'll have to hit the reset button on the back of your router or you won't be able to log in. Other brands of routers might use different IP addresses, but all the models for that brand will usually have the same IP. Other common IPs for routers are 192.168.2.1 or 10.0.0.1. If you don't know what your brand's IP address is or you've changed it, you can always find it pretty easily. On a Mac, go to the Apple in the upper left hand corner and then click on About This Mac. Now click on More Info. Then go to the System Report. From here, click on the Network tab to reveal the information about your router and network setup. So if you scroll down to the line where it says Router, here it's giving me the address of my router, which is what I've already typed into my browser, browser because this is a Linksys router. I knew already that this was the default address. And if I look up here, I can also find the address for my computer that I'm on right now. This will come in handy later because I need to know what computer to forward the ports to. If you're on a Windows computer, you can go to your control panels, go to the network, choose the network that you're on, and then go to the properties. On Windows, you can also enter the command line by typing CMD in the start menu, then type ipconfig in the command line and it'll reveal all this information. Mac users, if you go to the command line and you want to do the same thing, type ifconfig. So now that I have this important piece of information here, the address of my computer and the address of my router, I'm just going to go back and configure my port forwarding. To configure your port forwarding, open the Applications and Gaming tab. In one of the empty lines, begin by choosing a name for your port forwarding. The name is just to help you keep track of it. I'm going to run a Minecraft server and invite my friends to play, so I'm going to be forwarding the Minecraft port as an example. But I'll also tell you some other common port numbers that you might want to forward if you're running other types of servers like web servers or file servers. So I'm just going to call this one Minecraft. In the external port column, you'll enter the port number that users from the internet will be trying to connect to your server using. So the Minecraft port by default is 25565. So that's what I'll enter here. If you don't know what your server default uh, port number is, you can consult the manual either in print or online. You also may have the option to configure the port when you set up the server. There's a good chance you'll already know what the server port is. The internal port is the port that the router will send this connection through to your computer. Usually you'll just choose the same port for both, which is exactly what I'm going to do. Next you'll choose a protocol. Either TCP, UDP, or both. Because I know Minecraft uses TCP, I'm going to select it now. It's a little bit unusual for a game server to use TCP. Most game servers will use UDP. And applications like VoIP or Voice over IP will also use UDP. This is because it has a lower overhead and faster transfer. TCP, on the other hand, offers better data integrity, but the extra checking to make sure the data was transferred properly is what costs it a little bit of speed. So applications like web browsing and file transfer will usually function over TCP. Next, I'm going to choose the IP address of the computer I want to forward this port to. Now, I know from my system profile that my computer's IP address is 192.168.1.100. So I'll just enter it in here. 
and then I'll click Enable. Now I'll go down to the bottom and save the changes. So now I should be successfully forwarding this port to my computer and people should be able to log in and play Minecraft. If you still can't access your server after setting up port forwarding, you might have a firewall running on your computer. In another video, I'll show you how to bypass that as well. I hope you enjoyed this brief tutorial. Remember, just log into your router by entering its address into the address bar of your web browser. The password and IP address of most routers will be the same across the brand. Then just specify your port to be forwarded, the protocol to use or choose both if you don't know, and then the computer to forward it to, and then just enable and save, and you're done. Thanks for watching.